do. Wake that ass up. <laughs> rise and grind, rise and grind, grind baby. The live hip hop daily rise and grind morning show. Woo! We got the number one morning show to hit Atlanta, man. Rise and grind morning show. Get your ass up and tune in. www.livehiphopdaily.tv. Get that app, baby. Yep. Yeah. All right. Live and direct. <laughs> Number one morning show to hit the streets of Atlanta. Rise and grind morning show. Happy Thursday. <laughs> we inside the industry. Happy <laughs> Thursday. 100K cash in the building. What's going on? What's going on? Man, I appreciate you stopping by the lost dog. Like, you know what I mean? I hit that one phone call and was like, choo choo. Early in the morning, I had to send that good morning text. You know you got to send that good morning text every morning. You got to send a good morning. At least by three, four. You know, I don't got no main. If you ain't got no main hoe, if you ain't got no main hoe and you trying to keep them side, you know, you trying to keep that guarantee going, at least you got to send that main, at least that good morning text about two or three of them. At least one good morning text. That <laughs> big old fact. 100K, you spent, you, you, you sent a hundred. You sent yeah, a good big morning text. That big old fact, man. I said about like 200 of them. <laughs> 200. <laughs> See, I wasn't trying to put the number out there on camera, man. Yeah, man Let me get off my phone, I, man. Yeah, I'm just, I only got to be worried about sending one good morning text. Hey, because you, hey, you, you, know you, you, hey, you got that uh, trophy over there on your hand. No, I ain't even wearing it today. Oh, man. So oh, you come, just on, man. It to come on, man. Come on, man. The day you, I will wear it. Come on, man. Larry Love would be. Well, you a married man. We, I mean, we know you a married man. So Baby, you, yeah. You only got one one text you sending. Y'all only got one, Day and night. Yeah, no, nah, I don't even send it at night, bro. I send it in the morning time. Make yeah. sure you get to work, bro. Yeah, but get yeah. off of that, bro. We yeah. got hundred K yeah. cash in the building. He yeah. done stopped through the loft, bro. You came through to see what we was about. How we you working, like the man. situation? It's dope, man. Pretty dope, dope vibes, man. I'm rocking with it. Word, man. Made it to the couch, man. Yeah, what yeah. side of the time? So you from the north, right? Yeah, from the north. Man. Okay, okay, okay. You know what going That's on. what's I've been following a minute on, on social media. I remember I know I see the name. Yeah. I know you've been working, so I ain't even gotta ask no questions, you know what I'm saying? But um what you got? You got anything? It's it's A3C is in what, two weeks? Nah, a week. A week? Two weeks. Week and a half? Yeah, yeah. It's big, man. You got, uh, how you feel about that? How you feel about the A3C? Because I'm pretty sure you grew up in Atlanta. So the old A3C and the new three, how you, which, what's the new approach you think? Has you, the buzz been there for you? Or do you think it's something you're going to attend? Or do you, are you on the stage this year? Um, I'm going to be honest, man. Um, I've never attended. Um, I've never attended it. A3C? Yeah, I've never I mean, attended an event. Yeah, I mean, you ain't missing <laughs> nothing. I, mean, yeah. I ain't going to say you ain't missing nothing, but. I mean, if you were already networking, it's it's just a networking event. Yeah, my cousin, um, he's he from Detroit, but he stayed in Indiana right now. That's where I'm originally from. He um, yeah. he um, he talk about it all the time. He said, "Man, I'm gonna come down there and we gonna have this set up and we gonna have this set up. I'm gonna get you here. I'm gonna get you on because he do music too. He real dope." And I'm like, "All right, bet, 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 bet." He did it last year, and I was like, um, I was like, um, I had something going on, so I couldn't, you know, what I'm saying I couldn't go nowhere, go outside the doors, but <laughs> yeah, um. He came out here. And he did his thing. Man. He he was on the stage. He he was on the stage with Juice Man. He okay. he won a big big stage, but he was doing his yeah, thing. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. year, I hope ho- hopefully I got. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a mix with something that, yeah, that they yeah, got going yeah. on. That's all about the mix. You, you, know you pushing, saying? you pushing and grinding. You know what I mean? Your so your me, your social media presence is heavy, so I know somebody yeah, paying yeah. attention to you. It's good yeah, to yeah. get out in these streets, though. You know what I'm saying? The politic, pass some CDs out. You know what I mean? Um, we gonna get into a lot in this interview, bro. You know so what I mean? When you mm-hmm. when you when did you knew you had the sauce though? You know what <laughs> like, when did you knew it was time to take this shit for real though? Um, honestly, like really to be real, like when I um I caught I caught a charge. Okay. And it wasn't um due to something I did or somebody else, but the way it looked, it made it seem like it was me. So I I set I I pretty much was I had a warrant for like six months and I was running for like six months and I didn't even know it and I um I sat in the cut and I just started doing recording every day because I had the setup in my crib uh-huh. and I'm I'm not gonna lie I was you know what I'm saying popping perks or whatever you know what I'm saying <laughs> smoking my black smoking smoking weed or whatever and, I, and it was a different feeling like I was like man this this right here this shit is real like I really gotta do this like I have nothing else after this I have to do it and I was doing yeah. parties before Okay. So that's when I was like. So you already had a network. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After that, it was over with. Okay. Sauce dripping <laughs> everywhere, but it was over with. Did you have to, when you did your first couple of songs and you heard that playback and you heard yourself, you was like, yeah, this 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 gonna be it. This gonna be the one. Yeah, I knew I knew it was it. I knew I knew that because I created a new sound. Okay. My my like I found my sound. Yeah. So I, I was like, okay, now I know it's time. Yeah. Right, right, and I already right. was plugged in with my producer, Phenom the Don, okay. you know, oh. et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So I was like, it's time to go. Man. That's so, dope. So what, what, what new projects you got you, you, you working on now? Um, I got a tape that's dropping. I'm not going to get a date out yet. Can't drop the date. But I got a tape, Exit 105. It will be on the way. Oh, um, man. Boggs Road shit. 
Okay. Well, everybody know what the fuck going on. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. 85 North, but XM 105 hosted by DJ Ray G, Phenom the Don. Shout out to Ray G. Phenom the, um, Phenom the Don, DJ Ray G, DJ Plug, and AJ the DJ. Okay, shout out to AJ and shout that's a strong shit. Look, That's a strong That's a nice little home base, man. That's a, that's a home base. Show. So you definitely should have the home, the support when, the, when this shit drops as far as the networking and the... Um, you know, just pushing, and the North do support the North. Yeah, I do man. see that North support yeah. the North. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm rocking with the whole North movement right yeah. now. You know what I mean? You, yeah. STP, Low, shit, GBM, GBM, like. uh, 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 attack. I see. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We big it. on this. Shout I out know to what's going on, on out there. Bro, yeah, we yeah. Out here heavy, yeah. bro. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We moving, and this, and and this, and this, and it's about to be that point where it's you, 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 you better move out the way or get rolled over. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Migos set the set the way for the situation. The, it, it's a lot of artists, bro. Just like it's as many athletes as, as come out of Gwinnett, it's mm-hmm. as many artists that's gonna come out of Gwinnett yeah. too, bro. And it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. Facts, facts. Um, shoot, visuals. What you got? Um, I got. I think I got like three, three visuals up right now. Yeah, about mm-hmm. three. That's the cool. last one I did was this up. Um, is don't play. I believe. That's dope. No, came from, came from. That's what's in your, but that's what's in the link in your bio, huh? Well, actually, now in my bio, I put the um, just the whole channel, so you can just go there and then watch all the video. Dope, dope. Speaking, go, go, shoot, speaking of bio, why uh, social media? That shit, that shit important, right? Yeah. So yeah. you said he got a good social media presence. Like, was that important for you to grab social media first before you started pushing your music? Because oh. I know a lot of artists, they, they, you know, they they try to drop a whole album or sure. um, mixtape. Without a social media presence first, it ain't gotta be a big presence, but some people it check it for there. your shit. Yeah, it needs to be. You know there. what I'm saying? So did I'm pretty sure that you took it to heed. It's like, look, we gotta get this shit rocking digital because, like I was talking about on um, Monday when we did, the, and it was well, who was that uh, Monday? Uh, who that Monday? Shoot, 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 shoot. Who's Hustle that Sensei Kai. <laughs> Sensei Kai. When we was talking about Sensei Kai. We, you know, you got to have a neighborhood, but it's in order you got to reach out first. Yeah. If sure. you can grab niggas from where you not from first, then you know you got some shit going. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was that's why I was talking about how digital media going. Like you know, you got to have that social media presence. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? In a way, because like I said, it, it just takes one person to see your shit. You know, yeah. so you can't go everywhere in one day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how, how you like your social media buzz? Um. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. It's okay. I, I I I believe that a lot of people really just follow just to look. Be yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it ain't about how many followers. It's about who following yeah, you. It ain't yeah. about how many. It's about you got the media people. You got PRs checking for your shit. Yeah. It's about who liking your shit. Yeah. It's about you got to look at the network. You got to just really look at the motherfuckers that's clicking on your shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I hate the shit where a nigga have twenty thousand followers. And then post something and be getting four likes. Man. Like how you get twenty? How you got twenty thousand followers? That shit don't mean a thing. <laughs> yeah, full game, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's full game, man. We get media endorsement deals of two thousand followers around. <laughs> Straight we up. get media endorsements of 2,000 followers. Yeah, bro. People it's think it can't happen. That shit don't mean nothing. It can't happen, bro. Um, <laughs> shoot, we here. Rise of Ground Morning Show. We got my dog, 100K Cash. Give me your info. I want them to know why they watching this interview. You know what I mean? They can go ahead and follow you right um, now. Y'all can follow me on um, my Twitter. My Twitter and my Instagram, both uh, at underscore 100K Cash. You can follow me on that Facebook. Um, I'm still on Facebook, man. I'm still jumping on Facebook, man. Still jumping ah, yeah, on the porch, man. So <laughs> semi cash, you can find me on Facebook. So um, how, do you uh do you fuck with the um the open mic the, the like the mics the open mics? I don't call them unsigned hype events. I'm just gonna say, do you fuck with the, the promoters that throw parties for independent artists? <laughs> I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it real. I, I, I like I said, I, I was a promoter before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so you threw your I own. Know the, yeah. Yeah. I threw my own parties. I right, know right. the ins and outs. I know who's who. Um. Um, to throw names out there like yeah. like, like TJ TJ yeah. making moves his his events they official yeah um Fetty I feel Fetty like his G. is official his Fetty his, G, his yeah. official um some some of the little events I know they don't really do much for you right yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I I used to know a promoter I know a promoter he 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 has his own club now and stuff like that but when he first came in the game he used to do fashion fashion shows and open mic. <laughs> And I never was in that realm, so I, yeah. I I asked him about it. And he's like, some of, I can show you which ones is real, and which ones is not, which ones to mess with, and which ones not to mess with. True. So when he told me that, I started seeing like, okay, it makes sense. Like some of the ones they don't give you nothing. Yeah. They don't give you nothing. They come perform, you pay this money. Um, you, you sometimes you don't even perform. Yeah. Like I've been to some and I didn't even perform, and I paid yeah. money, and it's like, damn. Man. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't mess with them as much. And how how long you been rapping right now? Um, since I was like 13. All right, so basically, this you know, this some new Atlanta shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you really been, you know, been grinding, like, the, you know, the open mic shit only been, a, it came around maybe 
2014, 13. Yeah. It ain't been around for a long time. And that's what people, you know, I, I deal with a lot of people that come in and out of Atlanta every week and they, yo, what's up with the open? And I'm like, yo, you got to understand, like, them shits is important, but it depends on who you talk to. Like, I go talk to my OG DJ. Like, I'm a club DJ, whatever. So right, when it right. come down to me, I respect the OG. Like, I go call Funky. I go call Kool-Aid. I go call Jelly. I go call Aries. You yeah, know what I'm saying? What I, they think. You, you got to, because when you, you got to go to these strip clubs and go talk to these certain DJs because you got to go talk to Coalition. You got to go talk to yeah. uh, Funky at Strokers, like I said. You know what I mean? So it's a, it ain't just about going to touch the stage and by the open mic. And the reason I ask because, you know, we done interviewed some artists and they think that's the, num- one, the number one important thing. You know, yeah, right, hitting every right. open mic every night. And you no, know, and there's nothing wrong with that. It I was just wanna, time. Yeah, was I mean, time. I just want to, everybody got their own approach. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I said, it ain't. Everybody got their own step to the top. You know what I'm saying? I don't knock a nigga that do it, but I just want to know if you do it or not. You know what I'm saying? Because it shows whether, you know, like we can sit back. It it shows where the digital, like I said, the digital media versus niggas actually physically out in the streets working. Because then again, a lot of niggas don't even have CDs no more because everything you can find my shit on Spotify. You can find it on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? So go through my whole Instagram and find everything you need. You know what I'm saying? You You know what I'm saying? See, my approach approach is different. Like, I feel like, like I'm trying to be more in the streets but not like hey I'm, here's my cd here's yeah, my yeah, music yeah. i'm trying to really be in my hood in my in my area touching my people talking yeah. to my people like hey Accessible. you know what i'm saying Accessible. this is who i am know me personally yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. that way they're gonna really rock with me yeah, at the end of the yeah, day yeah. do some functions for the kids do something for the for the neighborhood Get clean the up base. you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. stuff like that so and, yeah. and that's that that's that that's that good old uh north bringing up bro yeah you know yeah yeah you gotta you, you feel compelled to do that shit, you know what I mean? Everybody trying to put on so we can put back into where we came from. Yeah, yeah that's, dope. Too that's long, dope. Man. That's dope. Yeah. Um, shoot, that was a good question, Larry Love, man. Like you, you really, you really know about the whole open mic situation, bro. I, mean, I was a part of the kind of I was I was a part of the group that kind of started that shit in Atlanta, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, but like I said, it, well, I ain't gonna say necessarily started because it came from the strip clubs. I mean, strip clubs been doing them shits back in the day, but they really turn it up. Like you know, shout to Tampa Mystic. Oh, yeah. to TJ. Oh, yeah. Like we oh, start, yeah. I started at Hollow Unique. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, oh, yeah. you know so who's on. You know four, five time years time ago, you know, we sat down and I just, I wasn't quick to jump on it. Like, nigga, we gave TJ his first interview. Next thing you know, TJ came and had his own show at Hollow. Next thing you know, TJ got the biggest open. So niggas had the vision. Oh. Ben, you know what I'm saying? Ben TJ it. Ben had the vision. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out to Justice for his brother when his brother got killed. Justice for Nick, the whole scenario night, and he was like, Yo, Larry, I wanna, I wanna open up a bigger, you know, bigger network platform for. Nigga, next thing you know, how he, he took it and turned it up with the independent artists. It was a good merge, you know what I'm saying? For his people, though, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, sometimes you can turn a, a, a bad situation to good, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We ain't always got to be out here. And definitely when it comes to with the independent artists, you know what I'm saying, working like, nigga, if you can't get your home base first, you can't get nobody. Nah. That's why I say, like you say, I start off doing shit in your stool with the kids and your side of town because, mm-hmm. you know, you got a lot of artists. Everybody come to Atlanta, bro. They are, when they, when you get the mainstream, it's a whole different level. When you get to that industry level, like you'll be traveling and all that shit, but. Everybody comes to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? We already got a cheat code, you know, as I tell niggas every day, like, <laughs> Atlanta already got the cheat code. Yeah, yeah. We already here, you know what I'm saying? These niggas come here, you know what I'm saying? So I like, though, no, I think the producers are the next level. I think when you get the next level of this game is having producers like, fucking with you. You got to have a core. Yeah. You got to have it a It always core. been like, niggas, I don't think producers get enough respect. I always said that, like, you know, DJs is whatever, artists is, but producers really never get enough respect, you know what I'm saying? I, and I, I, I've seen that, you know, so now I'm seeing producers really, you know, since, you know, the Mike Wills and the whatever, you know, the uh, Metros and the London on the track, but my producers is the, when you got producers fucking with you, you know, you can be in the studio locked in and, you know, you ain't got to worry about paying a thousand dollars for every beat, yeah. or leasing every fucking beat. Cause it can be a, expensive, bro. bro it's like that's why he used the 100K says you, he had a, he had his booth at the house. Yeah, yeah you got, I mean, you got to. Look, man, f- like I said, man, Phenom, Phenom is the And then Phenom the Don, yeah, that's Phenom that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They won. Tenth grade, bro. Okay, yeah, that's that's oh, real. Yeah, like my super, brother, yeah, super like way back. Him, yeah. uh, I, I, he been making industry level beats. So yeah, I heard I've been here. Been name. rocking for a long time, like you said, not, not enough respect. Like yeah. they don't get no respect, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm still, I go to his crib. It's, still, <laughs> it's love. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But he he doing his thing. He's yeah. still making his money. But yeah. I feel like home should be like on a whole nother. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, way on like a metro. And yeah, Sunny. He he talked to these fools. He talked yeah. to these boys on the bases. I yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, at their crib and stuff like that. But it's like he ain't getting where he where he should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the yeah. network, and it's, it's all the network. network. It's, and I guess it's timing you know too, man. It's you know what I'm saying? Like 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 Larry Love said, we spoiled by being out here in Atlanta because 
we so used to hearing the new person first. And by the time we've been, I heard him eight, yeah. nine months. Yeah. yeah. He just come out to the world and everybody think he the biggest thing yeah. since sliced bread. You be like, man, we've been to who he yeah. was. And like you know London and, Rich, and Rich, like see, all the Metro, all them niggas, see, they come up, they, them boys are studio babies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them, them boys grew up on that side of Atlanta where they got six or seven studios that's 15 minutes from their house. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's enough for them boys to pull up to the studio and go, you know, so it's, you know, and coming from the north, who was like, you know, Sonny Digital was probably one of the first biggest name I think that came. You know, he from the north. Yeah, Sonny from the yeah, north. Yeah. A lot yeah. of niggas only know that. Where you from? Yeah. He, so he was fucking with so- Soldier Boy. He went, he back went in the cross. Day. Yeah, he was Shit fucking me. with Soldier Boy back in the cross. day. I remember fucking with. Where you, uh, where you went to school? I went to um, I went to Burkmore, and then yeah. I went to Phoenix. I went uh, to, yeah, I went to Burkmore. See, see, yeah, yeah, I went to Central. Oh yeah, four, yeah. shit. What you, what you get? Oh seven. Yeah, oh, you come oh seven. Mm. I come oh six. See, that's what I'm saying. It's I don't so, even be knowing. That's what I'm saying. You get oh, you just, you just everybody be working, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much. It's so much connectivity, yeah. bro. Yeah. I, I'm like telling I just you, told too much by saying oh seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever corral that shit, and we all put a cap on it, and we find a way to like really, yeah. you know what I mean, network this shit. Yeah. We could be one of the. They'll be making a movie about us, like niggas made straight out of Compton and yeah, shit. It, we gotta um. The North on his way, man. Niggas gotta understand, like the East Side, the South Side. Them niggas yeah. been doing it. Yeah. Like the East Side, these niggas is coming out. Like the artists that's hot now, these niggas is coming from the East Side, the town of South that been doing it, my yeah. nigga. The North is on the way. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a little minute. We don't know like, how to move as a unit, though. Not, yeah, for real. For we real. getting it right. Yeah. Right. You know, everybody, everybody on their own uh, coming. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I was telling you about the gangs, like uh, like you know, from schoolies, and we was talking about two chains and bank Road, all of, like all these niggas is family. Like these niggas yeah. been like shout out to my brother Tracy T. Like Tracy T and Bank Road grew up together. You know what I'm saying? It's funny you say that because yeah. it's the same way in, in, in like, I don't know, like in Gwinnett, yeah. like. Like with Roscoe Dashes and, and the Migos. Digit, Migos. <laughs> if you like, went to Burt Mall, everybody's everybody, associated with the Migos. Man, come on. If you went to Burt Mall High School, everybody. everybody's associated with the Migos. Everybody, everybody in Amen. a way. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. We the North is on its way, and I ain't gonna say we rushing it, but the North is like it's t- it's a lot of talent right now. But like you say, it ain't it ain't everybody ain't glued yeah. together yet and recognize it down, bro. Yeah, yeah. But everybody, I think what it is, everybody sees down. There's no competition. Everybody, I think at one point, everybody was trying to be that big dog. It was kind of like everybody was trying to, my my feel, everybody was like, it was like Cheeto Gambino was yeah. at the top, yeah. OSDL, yeah. Click, yeah, yeah, and all yeah, of that. Yeah. And Cheeto was like, one of the first, yeah. yeah. Yeah, one of the first. And everybody was trying to either take over his reign or be the number one over him or whatever. Yeah. But when Migos Nobody. came up and like set the fire, it was just like, shit, we all here, shit. We can See, all the- either... How the Migos, I think how the Migos not. really set the fire, bro. Them niggas was all, they really was all the same age, too. You understand, back the old North days, niggas was ranging from 18 years old, yeah. hanging with niggas yeah. over 30. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, niggas yeah, was true. 20, hanging with niggas 40. You yeah, know what I'm saying? True. On yeah, the true. old North side. But now, them, all them niggas, like, from Yachty and off, like, Kiari, all them niggas the same age. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I used to shoot mm-hmm. dice with motherfucking... Uh, fucking Quave. I never. Like, that's what I said. I used to come home. I went to Albany State. I went to college. I used to come home. Uh, shot at Craig and John John. John John. Uh, John, John we used to pull John. up. Go shoot. Uh, <laughs> we used to shoot. That's that TJ. The quarterback for Burt Martin. Yep. Shot to yeah. TJ. Yeah. I know. And we used to get be at the barbershop. Shot at the cannon. Like I never knew these. Like they was talking about these niggas on the way. Ray G was working with. You know. Yep, yep, me and Ray yep. G. You know. Shot the cut. <laughs> Boys, Royal Flush, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Buddy. Like old North. So that's what I'm saying. It was it was too many age gaps. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you, bro. Pink Flamingo. Yeah, when Pink yeah, Flamingo was yeah, open. Yeah, I was yeah, one, yeah, of the, yeah. one of the promoters, on, like the top promoters. Was me and Tone. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Tone. Tom, shout to Tone. Um, shout to Tone. Shout to Tone. And Tone doing his thing right now. Yeah, he doing his thing. Man, Ray G was the DJ. Two and Two was the DJ, and AJ was the DJ. Yeah. Man, we. The, Pink Flamingo is what set them off. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah, set them the fuck yeah, off, bro. Yeah, and I watched that shit, bro. Like, yeah. I watched it. and I'm yeah. like, that's crazy. The North, like, man, the North is still on the way. People just, it's just, I understand. We just, it's a lot of talent right now. You know what I'm saying? But niggas just, like, everybody on their own wave right now. People don't even mean? understand the party aspect, bro. Like we yeah. said, nobody, young niggas out here was making money. Was every party hot? No. That's the other thing. But we set a tone for niggas like. Nigga, you ain't gotta go to work. You can be your own businessman. Yeah, 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 you can yeah, make this money out yeah. here. If you niggas can, had their own studios. Niggas had their own studios. That's one thing. Having their own parties. See, niggas, by the south side and the east side, the niggas that grew up on the other sides of town is them. They was pulling up the patchwork. They was pulling up the hot beats. They was. Yeah. They had the main studios. You know what I'm saying? But on the north, niggas got their own studios. Yeah. Yeah. Beyond niggas had ten thousand dollars studios in their own crib. Which caused you know us not to go nowhere. Yeah, cause, exactly. <laughs> they're, they're you ain't had the to drive studios and they linking up with us. Exactly. So that's 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 when you know what a the basis of how really niggas is really, you know, shout out to uh, my nigga Groovy Lou and he, you know, he worked with people long way click. You know, shout okay, to, okay. you know, Groovy he worked with everybody. Lou. So they connected, you know what I'm
Pee Wee all the way down to, from the school. Like we're talking about Street is X. Street is X connected a lot of artists that came up in that, you know, 2013 to 16 area. When Street is X opened up that studio, what's the, uh, what's the studio, Street is X studio? It's called Street is X, right? Yeah, Street, when Street is X opened up, that's when Two Chains, you know, he endorsed yeah. winning that. All them niggas, like, nigga Doll started coming down yeah, to Atlanta yeah, yeah. from Memphis. So it was just like, them niggas had studios, but on the North, Niggas got their own shit, you know what I'm saying? But you had to make your shit and then come out and drive to the clubs and drop it off yeah. a network, but it's different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because everything is going that far, bro. You can't. Yeah, it's a 30 minute drive, yeah, you know you what I'm saying? We, nigga, I'm not about to drive 30 minutes just to come record a 30 minute session. I'm, first of all, it's going to take me an hour to get there. <laughs> yeah. and then we only there for an hour. Then I, then you another nigga mad because we ain't got no. Nah, but it's, we got our own <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? But they, they, what they say, that's what you got to do uh, to sacrifice for your yeah, career, yeah, right? You got to grind, man. It's too much traffic but in Atlanta. Shit, mm-hmm. You got to do that shit too, though. It's too much traffic to, in Atlanta. Yeah, like, let's, you know. let's just keep it a hundred. It's too much traffic to move, <laughs> nigga. You would be spending more money on gas, driving to studios, yeah. and waiting for your studio time versus for six months. And you calculate that money, you, you could probably have your own uh, uh, Pro Tools application Everything. and MacBook and Everything. your own. Um, what you call the little thing? The uh, the little, the, uh, your own <laughs> Avalon, and you know what I'm saying. You had that shit. Your MIDI, your MIDI, your MIDI, your MIDI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to call my boy up there. They're like, Bruh, hey. I need my mic if you got it. <laughs> exactly, you know what I'm saying? I want me to get back to work. Exactly. I'm tired of doing all this extra job. Exactly, bro. Ones of this other studio. That shit get to you, you know what I'm saying? You talk about a week. Yeah, that's it. That's, 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 that's a part of being the new artist, though. You know what I mean? Like, so many cats out here think that, oh, shoot, you know, had that old school mindset. Well, I just got to go to the studio. And sometimes it's good for you to go there and catch yeah, that vibe yeah. of actually being at the studio. But I really feel music is about that instantaneous passion you yeah. know what i mean you yeah. got and to be able to capture and record that at it, its purest moment of when you think about it i think that's real music man yeah. and i think that's where this music really gonna start going towards bro yeah. you know what i mean yeah that's why i rock with you bro i'm glad you came through the loft man um we finna come to a rap so what's your, what's your uh we got a current upcoming project you working right now yeah, yeah yeah like i said i got um exit 105 I'm exit 105 that. okay i'm not gonna say when like i said but like I said, Phenom the Don, okay. DJ Ray G, plug, okay. you know. That video gotta be crazy. You should do it right by the sun. Yeah, tell yeah. tell people what Exit 105 is. Balls Road, man. Yeah. It's 105, no yeah, side. Yeah, man. Yeah, what man. going on, man? You got, yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> no, you gotta do bro. that shit just walking down the road, the whole video. Yeah, it. straight up. <laughs> That'd be dope. Do it kind of like uh, 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 Cool Club uh, did. Uh, yeah. Schooly, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, not Schooly, yeah, but yeah. Uh, what you call it? Scotty's, did on, two, yeah. Yeah, on, yeah. on 285 right there when he did the connection shit. That shit was hot. Yeah, that shit was hot. But yeah, bro. Man, um, shoot, what video? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna end this show with a uh, video, bro. What, which one you wanna kick to? Um, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just play it fair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two things, man. I'm gonna send y'all a video just to show y'all love, something I ain't even oh, never dropped. Okay, shoot. let's do that. And, put, um, put it in rotation. On the also, network. y'all can go ahead. And, y'all can go ahead and put that um came from because I feel, I feel that one actually. To be honest, yeah. with you. the one that, that y'all told me that yeah. y'all. Yeah, I'm rocking with that came from. So we'll put them in rotation, man. You know, it's like a 24 hour network, right? Like you know, videos probably playing right now. You know, really? yeah, it's doing. We just we record live, but it's always ne- it's a network. It's like a TV. It's like an internet TV show. Oh yeah, yes, bro, app and everything, yeah. bro. Oh, that's lit. <laughs> that's you know lit. We got another base in New York too, so it's it go back and forth. They go, you know, they, it's 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 always 24 hour content. Mm-hmm. So definitely send us your videos, and we'll put it in rotation, and we'll repost it on in, on Instagram and social media. Then. All that. Like I said, it's a rolling network. So any any new videos every time, you know. So just let Isaac know we put it in rotation with the video system. Yeah, man. Yeah. Shit, this and look, and on top of that, man, to let y'all know, like, if y'all need anything on, on my end, like, n- not even on no rapper, you know what I'm saying, the artist. Yeah, shit, yeah, like, yeah. Like I said, I was a promoter before. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. I don't mind sharing something. Yeah, let's network. That's true. It is what network. it is. I don't That's need true network. From y'all. Like, y'all show me love. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm going to show y'all love. It's all about networking, though. It's all about networking. That's real kings, bro. We're going to make kings. it work. You know what I'm saying? A3C coming up next week. We got to do something. two weeks. So, like I said, it's all about making shit happen. That's yeah, big. Yeah. I, I don't think it's going to be that big, but I think it's going to be a situation where you need to be at least one event. You, you don't have to go to everything the whole week, but just go to one event. Yeah, yeah, okay, just so. one event. I think I'm going to go to one event. Because to be honest with you, I, I didn't go last year, but I had to do four panels the year before. I DJed on four panels. So I think that it, it ain't burnt me out, but I seen everything. You know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, this is what it is. So, But I'm going to go this year. That's cool. I'm gonna go this year, you know. It's gonna be the move, bro. We'll have to check it out. We had a, you know, we had a moving um bit last year. We had like a truck with a moving billboard with Live Hip Hop <laughs> Daily. Like we rented a uh a eight like a shout to H like an 18 wheeler, and it was like you know it had the, when the, the video screens. Yeah. So we had a whole we had like a whole running uh by the hotels. You know that's what the host hotel the host hotel was at the what Omni. 
I think it was the Omni last year. So we had like a big ass live. People were like, what the fuck is that? Like, Yo, just yeah. running through the whole uh, we A3C. Moves, bro. <laughs> live daily, bro. Right <laughs> yeah, it's, here. That's right it's here. all about the promo game, man. Yeah, that's dope. Shout out to DJ dope. Crazy C, too. He was there last uh, Middle Georgia. He got Middle Georgia on lock. We got everything, bro. We doing this right here, Rising Ground Morning Show, bro. Um, shit, hundred K Cash. Give me your info one time. Tell them where they can find you one uh, more time. Twitter, Instagram is at um underscore one zero zero K Cash, and Facebook. Like I said, man, send me cash, bro. And you just goddamn lock in and follow me. Tune in. We so we put this video in the top five tomorrow for Friday. That'd be dope. Yeah, yeah go That's ahead right. and drop that in there. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, we we making all kind of connections. This is the number one morning show. I keep telling, we keep telling people that this is the number one morning show to hit Atlanta. We I see it. I we see it. This shit out of niggas. You know what I mean? Because we really here. We touching the people yeah. that's in the streets, bro. I appreciate you coming through. Um, shoot. Shout out to Jay Black, Innovative yeah. Black Station, and you know it's always Snicker Q forever, man. You know we Snicker definitely Q gonna keep forever, keep it going, man. You know just the couch, man, from industry to industry to mainstream, man. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, can I say one more thing? Yeah, man. And shout out to all the DJs out there, man. That's that's doing their thing, man. Yeah. Fuck with me, <laughs> fuck with me. I'm telling y'all, man. Heat, heat. <laughs> shout out to my shooter, man. P.S. Yeah, yo, and he in a cut, and we gonna go out like that. Yeah, I no. like that, man. Inside the industry, shoot right here, Rise of Ground Morning Show. We'll see y'all, man. Top five tomorrow. <laughs> Republican. Republican. I guess this is the life that we live. The life we live on and out. In the trenches, baby. We done came from the wretched hoes, my young niggas jumping fences. Mama said when you're counting hundreds, keep them rats out the kitchen. Waking up to them babies crying, my young nigga never listen. I thought I told you nigga where I came from, I hope you niggas pay attention. We done came from the wretched hoes, my young nigga jumping fences. Mama said when you're counting hundreds, keep them rats out the kitchen. Waking up to them babies crying, my young nigga never listen. I thought I told you nigga where I came from, I hope you niggas pay attention. I told you nigga where I came from, my mind it is all in the trenches, ratchet hoes, yeah, we gotta love them Keeping the glizzy tucked down in your bridges, damn, these niggas be tripping Pillow talking just like some little bitches, if I want her, then I gotta control her Put your hoe deep down on a mission, since a young nigga, mama told me keep the rats the fuck out the kitchen And every time I'm counting a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a binges Whole squad of angels with me, pray to just like we some Christians I do it for Mari and Tristan, God is my witness, yeah, God is my witness Shit so real on the know, OGs in a trap house, whipping up chickens Blue bitches is all in my vision, I promise, I promise, I gotta go get it No side where I came from, my youngins, they taking your crumbs These niggas is bro like some bombs, young OG, we done got it out the mud Stealing the snow to the north, yeah, yeah We done came from the ratchet hoes, my young niggas jumping fences Mama said when you count hundreds, keep them rats out the kitchen Waking up to them babies crying, my young nigga never listen I thought I told you nigga where I came from, I hope you niggas pay attention We done came from the ratchet hoes, my young niggas jumping fences Mama said when you Counting hundreds, keep them rats out the kitchen. Waking up to them babies crying. My young nigga never listen. I thought I told you nigga where I came from. I hope you niggas pay attention. Damn, nigga really don't listen. Come from enough, don't think in no trenches. I don't hang with too many niggas. These niggas be acting like bitches. Maybe send me, you just tripping. Mama said when you're counting hundreds, have your bitch cleaning, washing the dishes. All in the trap, still got no permission. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pinky index thumb, I'm from over there. Shout out to Certified Dream, big bro. He stamped on another. Young niggas still kicking their flay So many days a nigga didn't play Every night a nigga still pray All of these smiles and shakes You niggas is fake Got a family to feed Hell are you doing? Talking to me Can't eat where I eat Live in the streets Not saying I'm street Still walk around with my pistol Pull up a foe Roll up the dope Recipe my nigga pistol Watch over all of my niggas With a Kelly I ain't taking no pictures Fuck around Have a young nigga missing Fake hoes still blowing me kisses Still dreaming about leaving the trenches Call up mama Tell her send me done did it Send me done did it, yeah, send me done did it Niggas mad, we done ran up a ticket Still a rich happy little bitch, better listen Yeah, yeah, we done came from the ratchet hoes My young niggas jumping fences Mama said when you count hundreds Keep them rats out the kitchen Waking up to them babies crying My young nigga never listen I thought I told you nigga where I came from I hope you niggas pay attention We done came from the ratchet hoes My young niggas jumping fences Mama said when you count hundreds Keep them rats out the kitchen Waking up to them babies crying my young nigga never listen I thought I told you nigga where I came from I hope you niggas pay attention Trap Republican